We will speak about uh, one project uh, uh, called TCP Sync. It is an uh, um, open source project uh, which use uh, in both industry and uh, academia from one side, but uh, more as hobby. Uh, in ideal world, all this is bringing together. Uh, so what is all about? Uh, when you will look on the usual industrial scala code, you usually will see some monadic DSL on top of some uh, effect monad or future. Uh, what uh, I think that this is not so optimal. What will be better? Better will be use a control flow for control flow. So we will have uh, normal while, normal ifs, uh, uh, not inside force. Uh, so uh, this was done in dot CPS async as a extensions of well-known async await uh, library for Scala. But what's new uh, relative to previous uh, attempts uh, is uh, the ability to use a generic monad. monad. Uh, also, we solve in such limited way the problem of uh, high other function. You can use a weight in the argument of uh, high other functions like map or filter and uh, provides automatic color. And now let's to speak about details. Uh, for whom of us who are not familiar with uh, Scala, let's I brief describe the definitions. Uh, transparent line, it means that macro related during typing. Uh, F is uh, uh, our monad. It can be future, EO, and V it's other monad which we wait because you often we can uh, I think uh, you work in uh, one monad, but uh, uh, want to hear answer from other monad. Uh, then uh, uh, using it is clause uh, which give us implicit parameter. Uh, programmer does not write uh, this uh, argument by hand. Uh, compiler will insert a creative uh, implementation of type class. Uh, here mm. and uh, uh, context is the context functions. What it means in F actually programmer write an expression of type T uh, and uh, uh, compiler uh, will expand this into function and uh, inside T we can use implicit type of context. Now oh, here is how it can be used, uh, why it's uh, interesting, why it's uh, uh, for us, because uh, we can uh, pass an additional API which you want to get accessible on your mode. Uh, for example, structured con concurrency. And uh, what we need from Monad? Uh, here is uh, three uh, main methods which we know by heart. Uh, from Scala Z, cards, Haskell dates. If you're more familiar with Haskell, uh, URA is return and flat map is bind. Uh, also, we should define something for context uh, and uh, apply function, which do main function, main run. Uh, what we, uh, if you help try catch, uh, if you want to use try, uh, try catch inside the async block, then we also need uh, uh, functionality for error and uh, restoring and handling errors, which is also more or less obvious. Now let's think how it done inside. Uh, uh, transformations based on CPS transform. Uh, why? Let's look uh, how these two. Well, for example, we have two sequential questions, uh, sequential statements A and B. Uh, we translate this to uh, flat map of result of result to R and result of B. And B is playing the role of the rest uh, parameters in continuation passing style. Uh, but instead just passing rest 
f yet one parameter, we passing it further via flat map. Uh, so it's why it's CPS, uh, because uh, transforms are very close to each other. Uh, uh, transformations of control flow constructions uh, are the same as 50 years ago. Uh, it's just adopted for Scala. Um, and uh, uh, only uh, I think that in any functional programming book, you will find actually the same definitions. Maybe uh, try catches exclusion. Uh, what will give us more not uh, instead uh, additional parameter? It can give us the ability to optimize. Because, uh, uh, for example, we have two signal fragment merge back into one. Yes, uh, so uh, instead 10 functions for each code uh, for constructions, or 10 rulers, we have near 50 rulers which are specialized in dependency of uh, what part of uh, control for construction is uh, sync and what part is async. Uh, and uh, this means that uh, usually of nested maps, it is usually the number of uh, awaits new code. And this is the code uh, without uh, extra work here, the same as programmer will write this by hand. Uh, so some early problems of uh, early CPS transformers, which was slow, now uh, fixed. What's interesting is high order functions. Uh, small example, for example, if we will have cache and we have something like get and update with uh, uh, call by name what to do when something is missing. And we want to use a wait in, inside uh, when upset argument. Uh, the usual answer in uh, Haskell or Lisp is uh, to believe the on continuation support in runtime. Uh, but in Scala, none of runtimes, which are available in production now, have no continuation support. Uh, this will be fixed with uh, for Loom, but for uh, JS and Native, uh, not sure, uh, because uh, uh, JS runtime is small, Native also can run on very small uh, microprocessors, which just have no ability to uh, have continuations. Uh, so we need to think about some other solutions. Okay, and uh, what to do? The first thing is let allow the developer to provide uh, the async version of function or in type class or in uh, near. For example, here we can uh, extend async uh, shift uh, marker uh, uh, interface and define the get to update with additional argument list with object and monads. And uh, uh, if uh, uh, compiler will see a weight inside the lambda argument, he will find a sync shift uh, uh, of this class and uh, will split the update from there. Uh, if uh, uh, after of uh, async library is aware about uh, the async, he can just write async version near async. This also will work. Uh, it is all not uh, because uh, usually uh, high order functions are passed into chains and then these chains are fused into one object. For example, when you have map and filter, and uh, if you will look on this code, we can see that uh, we square URLs asynchronously and then fetch data. Uh, and the programmer who reads asynchronously, he thinks that we, uh, that we have one iteration of URL 
And during the reading of first two element, we read collection, then call read collection, then return, then the second element, and so on. But uh, if we will uh, do uh, uh, only as um, with functions, uh, this will be other behavior because we will uh, receive a filter collection as one thing and, uh, uh, and collection as other things. And for example, the memory consumption will be bigger. Uh, what to do? Uh, in this case, in this case, let's uh, allow the developer to substitute the classes for chain of high order methods. And uh, do you do the fusion uh, at the same as fusion is uh, uh, done in stand library, but with async function uh, instead of sync. Uh, here is an example and uh, uh, code which provide URLs will look like we, on return, we receive uh, uh, substituted uh, collections. Then we added to them functions and on finish chain, we interpret all. And uh, this means that uh, the interpretation uh, and the semantics of uh, this loop will be exactly as in, in synchronous case. But it will require some assistance from the developer. So yes, we can. Uh, in such case, we limited uh, solve the high order function problem, and uh, we implemented all uh, uh, async variants for function for that library. So it is uh, ok to use a wait inside the uh, option get URLs or inside for. Uh, second interesting question is automatic coloring. Uh, I think that uh, all of you have read the uh, famous blog post, what is color of your function. Uh, and the essence of uh, automatic coloring is that um, inserting a thinking uh, awaiting uh, and before a synthesis process, it is not creative process. Computer can do it. So let's automate. Uh, on the uh, first uh, interaction, we can think that we have defined its conversions and the uh, form f t to t, which will be insert await. And also we will insert await uh, when some value is discarded to preserve uh, effects. Of course, this will not work. Uh, this can be unsafe for some types models such as such as EO, uh, who, uh, why? Uh, let's uh, look also on the next example and looks how connection is used. We open connections then we want to do some operations on these connections. Get command, uh, uh, wait uh, when it is uh, available, uh, close. Uh, but in EO, uh, each uh, incarnation of open connections will give us new connections. So uh, problem, uh, can we solve this? Interesting that if we will think how this connection is used, we will see that each uh, entrance of connections is in a weight. It means that uh, a connection is used synchronously. And uh, we can uh, add the uh, uh, safety condition that uh, uh, if connection used synchronously, then it should be memorized. And um, you know, that can be memorized and use it uh, as synchronous value. So let me have memorize and uh, we can uh, transform our code uh, such times that it has not changed type, but changes semantic uh, 
uh, and now connection is looks like uh, one instance. Uh, we uh, can classify all values via preliminary analysis, and uh, if we see that uh, all uh, using of our value is synchronous and value is synchronous, then we minimize. When you have no C synchronous users, then we no, no minimize, of course. If you see both uh, usage, it means some error. It means <coughs> Excuse me, Ruslan, I'm awfully sorry to interrupt, but I have no, I don't have any other communication channel. Uh, three minutes left. What, what? Just to let you know, you have three minutes a lot of time. Oh, okay, okay. Thanks. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and we now, uh, near at the end, uh, so uh, it was near year when uh, it is available and uh, usage by language enthusiast. We have few projects uh, which work with them. Uh, it is most of projects uh, is uh, uh, just uh, uh, migration from uh, C22, I think, away, and it's usually just works. Also, we have utility server, where the main monad, uh, I have seen that it was will be EO, but actually it is a resource of EOX, because uh, we opened the resource on the checklist and for uh, other connections. And one of the ones that usage is uh, Postgres library. And uh, near one half of uh, problems was connected with uh, uh, interaction with the compiler, but it's because at this time uh, compiler also was uh, uh, very uh, young. And uh, special cases, uh, mostly no, the, the most changes are in special cases. Uh, now we uh, want to have a version on Loom. Maybe I will talk about this later for GVM. And now, uh, why? Because I want to um, determine how excessively Loom will uh, uh, change the uh, performance uh, and search for good benchmark because I want to run uh, the same code with uh, and uh, without runtime, uh, with, with compile time and without good conditions and see what happens. Uh, okay, that's all what I have to say. If you have any questions, then you will not be able to send me because time is over. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Ruslan. Uh, do we have any questions from online? No? Do we have any questions here? Yep. No, we have one minute. It's okay. Fine. Uh, hi. So, in the example with uh, automatic coloring, you used function open connection that was assigned to a local variable connection. And uh, that, uh, as, far, as far as I understand, that, that, that assignment caused the connection to be memoized and uh, mm -hmm. and if it wouldn't be assigned to variable if it would be just open connection used uh, directly so basically if you would inline the variable connection then it wouldn't be memoized um, in line it means uh, we analyze usage and we memoize only if you have value if you have no value we do nothing and if this value is usage as synchronous uh, in the other places later. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, thank you. 